fish on, guys. That feels like a smallie. Stay tuned, guys. We got some summer fishing tips, ways to kind of catch a bunch of fish, catch all kinds of different fish, and do something completely different. That's because that's what we do. Stay tuned, all right? Buddy's over here. Woo! He's from New York, dude. He came up from Florida and he's just caught like a big old smallie. Welcome to my e-balls fishing. Let me tell you something. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. I don't know if you guys can see that. We are next to the dam. Doing some summer fishing because summer fishing, one of the key things is current. I got my buddy over here, Jim from New York, just caught a magnum smallie. And, it, and that kind of leads to what we're doing. We're fishing current. There's a lot of smallies in here. There's some largemouth mixed in. But during the summer, as this water gets hot, 85, 90 degrees, these fish tend to like current and moving water. They'll stay shallower. We're going to fish probably 8, 12, 10 feet of water. Not your super deep waters, but because that water's moving, it keeps it oxygenated, keeps it cool, keeps the bait flowing to it. But today, I'm Mikey Balls Fishing. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Make sure to like, <laughs> I can't even say it. Make sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna do some current fishing. Guys, this is a really good look at what we're, what we're fishing. You can see on my sea map, it's kind of like the area we were in, but you can see on the side scan and on the down scan, on the, even, the, even the 2D, these are all rocks. All that stuff is rocks. All of them chunky chunks, all that. There's a bunch of rocks and they're creating current breaks for these fish. You don't know where they are, you gotta kind of fish for them. You can't just scan for them. Yeah, I mean, you might see a fish here and there, but overall, you just kind of fish for them. Drag, try not to get hung up, and just hope for a bite. Fish on, guys. That feels like a smallie. That's a big freaking smallie. I hope. Oh my god. That's a giant freaking smallie. Using just like a micro jig, and we're fishing right up next to the dam, dude. Freaking that thing smashed it. That's awesome. Let's let her go. Peace. Crazy freaking fit. Oh no. Wrong fish. Guys, this is what I'm rigging up here. It's just a War Eagle finesse jig. It's got a real stout hook on it and a brush guard. And it's got a little chartreuse in it. The smallies like chartreuse, and it's even got a little orange, which which I kind of like. This water isn't dirty but it does get a little bit stained with the, the water pumping out of the dam. We're just tying a Palomar knot, 15 pound floral. Give her a lick, tighten her down, and that's our deal. Just a little guy. Hit it on the way up. A little quick tip when you're fishing these dams. So this dam especially is freaking rocky, like super duper rocky. You can see all, all the big old chunky rocks down there. That's what all that yellow return is. So it, it's very clingy. You end up losing a lot of baits. The key is finding a weight of a bait. You're gonna use different weights for drag baits than you are like, like a swim bait or something like that. But finding like a weight where you're, you're making bottom contact, but you're not getting hung all the time. And it sounds really simple, but there is an art to it. We're fishing about eight to 10 feet of water, eight to 13 feet of water. I got a half ounce ball jig. It's got a pretty stout hook on it, but it's like a micro finesse jig. If I was using an open hook, it would definitely be getting hung up a lot. And being efficient and making a lot of casts is really key so just find that weight of that that jig you can see i'm hanging but i'm not like hanging find that weight and freaking sling it but have a few of them because you're gonna lose some fish on guys i think it's a big smallie Oh, did Mike catch another freaking catfish? Sure feels like it. Unless it's a giant freaking smallie. Oh, it's a giant freaking smallie. Giant. Oh, God. Oh, no. She got me on a... Oh, she, she was lonely. Oh, we're going to hit a rock. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stay out of there. Oh, my God. Stay out of there. Oh, God. Stay out of there. Oh God, that's a big one. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. 
Come here. Oh my god. I am so fired up. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at that giant fruit. It's been a grind, but that is a monster smally. Freaking, she ate that jig. Let me show it to you again. It's just this little micro finesse jig right there. Dude, got the magic colors, a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of orange, but we almost like ran over a rock and she actually literally dove into like a crevice of a rock and got me stuck. I didn't think I was gonna get her out because between the current and the wind, this boat's going everywhere, dude. Like we're already, let me show you something. That's where we caught her. This is see on my C map. There's kind of it kind of comes up a little bit, but I dropped a rock where where it came up. We caught her right there. We're already drifted all the way over there, over like 150 feet away. This is nuts. Let's get her weighed and released. All right, guys, we're gonna grab her real quick. I don't want her to get too stressed out here. <laughs> all right, let's get her on the scale real fast. Stay, stay, stay. 5-4. What an epic catch. I, dude, I don't want to keep her out of the water too long. Epic catch. Current fishing. Damned if I do. Damned if I don't. Peace out, honey. <laughs> I love Alabama. This is so cool. Current fishing keeps the water oxygenated. Keeps the fish freaking active. Catch a mixed bag, we caught a catfish, we caught some smallmouth. I'm surprised we didn't catch a largemouth. This is nuts. Fish on. That's a big one. Oh, she's running straight at the boat. I didn't get a very good hook set on her. Oh, she's big. Whatever it is, it's gigantic. Yeah. Oh, it's a big catfish. A big catfish. You want dinner? Look at this, guys. All right? Look at that thing, guys. <laughs> I want my jig, though. Oh, no. Thought I had a giant for a minute, but then it started, like, acting funny on the line, dude. Well, guys, that's why you go fish current during the summer. That moving water keeps things fresh and keeps it going. I will give you a couple quick tips. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk your ear off. A couple things. Dude, current eats up your trolling motor batteries. As you guys know, I made the transition to battle-born lithium batteries. You can see them back there. It's them, them blue guys right there. So lithium batteries, basically, they hold a longer charge. Or basically, they'll run your trolling motor at a longer period of time. Not only that, they weigh less, but they also run the trolling motor at full power. There's no kind of decrease in ampage, decrease in, in power as you go. And that's so important when you're fishing this current because dude, if you, if you lose power, you're gonna be drifting off the spot. You're gonna be drifting back in the current instead of working forward or staying in one place. Hugely important. Let's talk about the bait real quick that um, that really showed off, especially for those bigger spawnings. Missed a lot of bites, caught some catfish on it. Like it's so crazy. You can catch so many different things when you're fishing out in that current. But it was basically this finesse jig right here. It's a half ounce finesse jig. You can see she's all ground up on the top. Uh, put a little pack of crawl or just like a little cut down burner crawl on it. A um, little bit of chartreuse in there because there are some smallies in here. It seemed to be key. I was throwing it on a 7.3 Halo Ti with 15 pound fluorocarbon. Now I would like to go heavier, but with all that that current it grabs the line and actually pulls the bait so 15 is about as heavy as I can go going down to 12 gets a little sketchy and you could see I retied or I don't know if you saw but I retied like 10 times dude because the line gets all frayed up you can catch a bunch of different fish that moving water keeps things vibrant keeps those fish freaking active and feeding even if it's 150 degrees the dog days of summer give it a try current fishing during the summer if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit like and subscribe thank you for all the support in these videos if you guys want to see anything drop it down in the comments box if you got any questions or if you got any tips because i always like to learn from you guys drop them down in the comments box we will see you next time fishing talking fishing doing something fishing 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 tight lines guys thanks for hanging out peace